going to build us a new offensive player. Okay. So I don't think the playbook worked very well. That we had already, we never built for a different team, and we were just kind of trying to make it for, for Wisconsin. So, we'll take Wisconsin's basic playbook. iPhone more than we had it earlier. What else do we The most exciting, sorry. We gotta, we just, we, we need a new book. Because we kept, we kept hitting long strides of just not being able to get anything going. Start over, make one from scratch for us.
flag than the normal flag. Three different versions of that flight. We don't need that new one. Definitely finish filming this play if we get up to Michigan State. I mean, I say yeet all the time. <laughs> I like to use words unironically. I don't care. Words are words. I mean, Ohio State yeeted us last night. <laughs> you know, 59 points, I think. It was 52. Might have been 52. Can't remember. You got short memory. Yeah, we'll just leave it at Wisconsin 1, I don't care. Thank you. 
different kind of team they still got. They beat up on us last year. Rocky Lombardi. Alright. Looks like he's gonna throw 300 yards on this. Oh wow. 72 speed, but then 96 acceleration. Get off into line. I think we'll fare, fare better against their defense this year. Alright. Hundred and twenty sixth ranked defense. Oh yeah. Trying to avenge them putting 52 points on us last season. New hurdle interactions. It was new in 2013, and yet it still looks better than Madden 20. Golly, our defensive rankings are horrible. That is not a good look. We average 39 points on offense, average giving up 49 points. We lost a 48-45 game against Virginia Tech, and then Ohio State put 52 or Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented oh, by cool. Nissan. Innovation that excites. Michigan State's been on a roll lately, but a winning streak is only important if it continues to be a winning streak. By extending it, we'll see if they can get it done. Yards, but then we hadn't. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out sometimes. the pregame show. <laughs> NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. On the west end of campus here at the University of Wisconsin. Camp Randall Stadium is the site for today's game. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. There we go. Enjoy everything. And we use this rain to drag them down to our level. <laughs> Michigan State has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Ah. 
He's knocked out of bounds oh, right yeah. on the 20-yard line. So the Badgers and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the yeah, open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. There we go. Makes it out to about the 30. Wisconsin's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now. And he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinator. From their own 30-yard line, it's first down. Giant hole. He's level at the 43. Oh, yeah. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together all right, for a shot. nice run. Get in there and run Jonathan Taylor too much, although that is kind of taking him out pretty quick. But two 10 plus yards. Wow. Gains his way to the 43 yard line. Great job here State. converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. Let's see if we can keep doing something in the face. First and 10. Ball on the 43 yard line. to about the 34-yard line. We're not Great job this by the running back, that's a gain of nine. <laughs> that brings up second and one. We'll pull back that. Doesn't need that to throw the ball yet. There we go. He's tackled after positive yardage. That's a pretty nice run there. Yeah, anytime you can get production like this from the fullback, you give the defense something else to worry about. From the 30-yard line, first down. There we go. Caught open field. Danny. He's still going. Danny. Down, what? He just broke three tackles in a row. That's ridiculous. The oh, wide man. receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. And doesn't it always <laughs> seem like he just finds a way to get open? That was lucky. It ain't gonna happen like that all game. <laughs> and he adds the extra point. A six play, 81 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical. Really controlling the line of scrimmage and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Wisconsin gets set to kick this Damn one away. Darsh. He sends this one deep. Oh, Ben Swash just got the He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 28. All right, what are we doing on defense here? Fire, the quarterback brings his troops out out of the field for the first drive of the game. It off. He it out to maybe the 29 yard line. Man, I love Cronin. He's a true freshman. He's the type of player we need. Whoa, why is he not on the field though? Dang it. Right, second and nine. 
Ball on the 29-yard line. Formation six. At about the 37 yard line. That'll bring up 32. Seemed like you went under everybody. I think it was five wide. Yeah, let me look at that real quick. Mission Utah. Nickel two through five. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Oh, make the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Man, our team's coming out pissed. They really wanted to avenge last year. Davis, back to return it. Davis fields it at the 41. Tackle at the 45 yard line. Yeah. Can we keep this dominance rolling? Now, I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect Woo! negatively on the psyche of this defense. Jonathan Taylor at about the spun him into oblivion. Great timing to call the run right there. And it paid off in a big way. <laughs> Holy cow. From the 29 yard line, first down. Wisconsin is up by a touchdown. And they make the stop around the 21 yard line. Touchdown. Yeah, we're, we are coming out pissed. <laughs> he got the handoff and knew exactly what to do with it. They like the we have not looked this good who can pick his way at so all well in the first defenses. two seasons so far. And he hits the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Time to check out the proceedings on the farm in Palo Alto. And for Stanford, all ah, the ingredients so look as if they are starting to fall into place for a potential upset. They line up to kick this one away. A bit early to say he that. Just with drills like this one. Most of the second quarter left in a three point game. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Wisconsin's defense got the stop they wanted on that first drive. Now let's see if they can do it again. And just listen to this crowd, Brad. I mean, you can practically feel the energy coming down from the crowd and how it's impacting these players. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. What and they were they doing right there? The play. Wow, Lombardi is just, he is just rattled. That is the difference. They had a senior quarterback last year. Man. Lombardi in name, I guess. 
I don't know if he's related. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Ooh. Grabs it and hammered right there. Man. We are on it. What is going on? We literally have the worst strike defense, and we're doing this right now. Screen pass gets it to the back. Wow. That's a great tackle at the 26. So the defense does their job Holy well on cow. that series. Two straight three and outs. That is literally the first time this has happened. Weaver awaits the snap. Ooh. And down he goes at the 46. So the Badgers are having their way on offense so far. Man. Just a nice rhythm to what they're what? trying to do. It's a balanced attack, running and throwing, and right now this defense just can't stop them. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Complete. He's got room. Yeah, they want to take He's that tackled thing. in the open field. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. With a few touchdown lead, I'm like, well, let's not get greedy and like. It's second throw down back now. In. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Ooh. Makes it to the 34. You like Golly. to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. This is nuts. Wait. Man. Check is running people over now. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. What? Did Michigan State not want to play this game or something? It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Oh, right down, right around the 16-yard line. Sometimes when you've got speed, it's <laughs> like seven yards. It's the yard one left. thing you just can't defend. Michigan State did not show up today. I like how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. We have not looked this good. He makes the PAT. It was a five-play, 54-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Oh, no. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass, just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. <laughs> down. The spin has somehow got all wild Wisconsin's in this. Wisconsin's looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ball game. I mean, eventually we got. It's got to give. It's got to give because there's no way we, we're this, we're not this good. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Tackled right in the 33-yard line. The one thing that's helping us is this is the first team that's actually huddled. 
Every other game we've Second been in this season, we just need about know three how yards to pick up the first down. Oh, that was on me. Holy cow. To the 20. Oh. The 10. And a huge touchdown play. I misjudged the speed on that. Dang. All right. I haven't and played that deep throw very often. A short two play, 74 yard drive. We got the game winning interception against Baylor with that deep throw. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense that was one play out of it. <laughs> so the score now, 21-7. All Michigan right, so State Michigan State has joined the, the game. Davis, field to the goal line. He's to the 20. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Wisconsin's taking no prisoners in this game so far, Herbie. Well, they've really exploited some one-on-one -on -one opportunities and came up with some big plays that eventually have led to those touchdowns. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. And it carries the ball for a nice game. Jonathan Taylor has 100 yards in the first quarter. What the heck? It's second and six. Ball on their own 30. He's to the 40. Receivers got the first down. Yeah, Bucky, I can't say anything about you dancing right now because we are actually in control at the moment. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. That offensive lineman was blocking nice against that Taylor. Girlfriend. Taylor gets about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. All right, we're starting to look a little bit more like Michigan State now. Second down, six to go. Ball in their own 47. Okay. All right, come on, get to the line. And he has it on the corner. There we go. He's pushed out of bounds at the 41. 12-yard run by Groshek. Our offensive line is just dominating them right now. There you go. Into the first quarter. That'll bring it in to the first quarter of action. 21-7, Wisconsin. Let's see. Go big. Half that counter. Back to the action like now the here in the second quarter. Do like a dive or something. It's funny, they got that touchdown with, without getting the first down still. Oh! They'll bring him down right around the 38-yard line. And Lyman just got it. Gets two, maybe three yards. That'll make it second if he seven. hadn't reacted that quick, that would have been a big gain for Taylor. All right. Michigan State needs to stop us. Get back in this game. From the 38-yard line, we second down. Throw five interceptions like we did last week. Whoa! There you go, Quintez. And he's taken down at the 19-yard line. Kind of meant to throw to Jake, but I hit for Quintez, and he caught it. So. Happy accident. First and ten. Ball on the 19 yard line. And he's left. 
level at the 17. That's good for a gain of two yards. They just couldn't get through. Shannon just like took off though. He was like, I'm gonna block on a touchdown for this one. Where'd you go? Here's the eighth play of the series. Oh, Quintez, why did you wait for the ball? He was doing that fall away catch and let him jump in front of him. What kind of call is that? With a big lead, you're throwing the football, and the interception here could end up costing you. From their own 23-yard line. First down. How you gonna just wait for the ball like that? And the friggin' touchdown in your grasp. Tackle made at the 39. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run a that was bad. like I this made that is it keeps the defense quicker, guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing dirty. or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. So they got their first first down now. Game just feels like a different tender. Once and all, going deep. It's intercepted. Move. Brad, I'm going to put that one on the quarterback. <laughs> I think he's forcing the issue out there. I understand you're down a couple scores. Look, you had Quintez wait on that ball. I'm going to give you stuff. You can't get it too. all back at once. <laughs> You've got to be patient, take your time, and methodically work yourself back as a team back into this game. Normally, I'd just let it play out, but I'm, I, I, that ticked me off with that pick for Quintez just letting a guy step in front of him. From their own 30-yard line, first down. Ooh. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. Three yard gain by the running back. Okay, we need to make it second and seven. We need to throw the ball a little bit. You know, we just do a pick. There you go, Crookshank. There you go, Crookshank. Just reverse the field on him. He's tackled Ooh. at the 12. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. Yeah, Crookshank's got that ski skirt. <laughs> right. Where are we going? Read option. Well, no. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Three down, three down. Well, the defense has got to be thinking uh, if they've already forced no, a red zone no. turnover, maybe they can do it again right here. He gets out to about the nine yard line. Yeah, I didn't want to run that read option because it looked like if they let the QB keep it, that linebacker blasted me. Really? What were they doing? What coverage did they just run? What was that? Hey. And for Ferguson, he adds another TD catch to make it two. They just pressed everyone and had no zones over top. You can see why the quarterback loves getting. It must have been like uh, the guy for the tight end was lined up on the opposite side. Oh, 
I give up a lot of big plays like that and when I notice someone is covering a someone nice across the field. Play, 70 yard play. Drive. What are you doing all the way points. over here? Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Wisconsin is lining up to kick this one off. Hayward fields it at the two. The tackle made at the 25 yard line. Ben Swashel is not any kind of defensive player. <laughs> He's just like, hey man, if, if if you don't throw me down, we can just we can just make it look like we're doing something. But the play will be over there and we don't have to do anything. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I gotta say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. He goes out of bounds at the 32 yard line. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Oh, dang, his only incompletion was that pick. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's to the point. Here's the tackle at the 43 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Have to cover, use different people, I guess. Can't just use prone in all games. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He might not be able to get the pass off. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. They're really having Louder a good time. Louder than three sacks. Man. He's just making that dude his bitch. I cannot believe how good our defense looks in this game so far. This is wild. So the sack makes this a second and long. It's the tailback. Aha! They bring him down in the backfield. Like, yeah, he thought I was going to screw that up like I did a lot of the time, but not this time. Holy cow. All right. Yes. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. I'm not covered. Four sacks for Loudermilk. Responding and reacting to that Wow. Sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, what is but they this? hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create he some confidence for this defense. The next time back, this quarterback drops like, back to throw, hey buddy, got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit oh gun shy goodness. and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Fourth and long here after the sack. Weaver to punt. This is crazy because we literally have not had a game where the defense has looked any kind of good. Ooh. Tackle at the 46 yard line. Okay. So the Badgers have had so much success here in the first half. Kirk, you got to look really in the third and fourth quarter. If they get just maybe a little bit too complacent, start playing not to lose instead of to win. Yeah, they got to keep their foot on the accelerator. They're off to such a great start. I mean, this is exactly the way they had hoped this game would unfold and it is, but it's a four quarter game and, and if they start to as you say, get complacent. They give this uh, their opposing team a chance to come back and win this football game. What is going on? Oh my goodness! And they make the stop at the 27-yard line, and that play could have gone for six. Oh boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this I is time that they what step is going up and on prove with it Michigan on the State field. In this Forget game. about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. From the 27 yard line. It's first down. Tackled after a decent pickup. 
Give it a six yard run. Okay, it was just because they were still standing there. I was like, that's not Taylor Hurt, right? <laughs> Back at the line, of, at that line. Third and inches. Let's give it the channel. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Wow! He's channel just down. ran Found somebody over. Line. Michigan State just did not want this. What is going on? They came in with a, a literal chance to play themselves into the national title picture this season. And this is happening. Let's go. Ooh, nice run there. Push them back Taylor there. Get six yards on the play. After Kendrick Pryor had a partial TCL tear, I'm kind of nervous about like juking when there's a hit, a guaranteed hit coming for him. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the three yard so line. That's what happened is we were like mid juke, made one guy miss, and another guy blasted him. Touchdown, Badgers! Crochet! Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. Yeah, we literally lost like 52 to 24 last night. This team did not want to get embarrassed on their home field. And he hits the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for but his still a whole second half. Let's head to the farm and still have the same Alto. amount of time that we have to put up this all day. And for Stanford, a very lethargic performance so far. They don't watch out. They're going to be in a world of hurt. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Last week we were tied 24-24. This defensive end is having a very State. good day. Fred, how many times have we talked again. about this guy? He just feels like he's like in his sixth or seventh yeah, year of starting for this like team. That. But I tell you, I don't know if there's anybody in the country who cares more about his program than this young man. To me, this is just a classic example of just being bigger, faster, oh, and stronger than the guy sack. trying to block Holy him. I don't cow. care if this offensive line uses two or even three guys to stop it's him. Still the there's first nothing half. they can do to stop this individual performance that he's putting on display today. I'm really surprised how lopsided this first half has been. But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. Quick toss. Hey. Nice catch, first Hero. down, and he's knocked out. Uh, let's go down. My catch. From their own 42 yard line. First down. Oh, that's on me. Makes the catch and look at Wow, I missed that horribly. Inside the 30. Brought down around the 29 yard line. It's like I'm trying not to just because I usually I used to always just play defensive line, so I'm just like I don't want to just play that one. Because like there is a way that you can just cheat that over and over again if you just run a certain direction. <laughs> you can run by the tackles. So I'm trying to force myself to play coverage. There we go. His pass wow. rushing dominance Loud is bringing him close to his single game sack record. Well, this guy's putting on a clinic on how to be a dominant pass rusher. He's so well coached, but he also has a ton of intangibles that you just can't teach. Michigan State will take their first time out of the half. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Ooh, quickly to the tight end. Good play here.
third and 18. Get that crossfire, come on boys. Nice. Our body just got in the way away. enough. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards. But the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. It's fourth down. Oh, my They'll line goodness. it up for a very long field goal attempt. We've got a defense in this ball game. Oh, they're going to roll the clock all the way down. Whatever. We have a 35-7 lead. I wasn't going to press. If they miss this field goal, though, we get this ball around midfield. They got Kicks it. Away. Oh, never mind. They come away empty Too short. So our count is I don't think he has a leg. Like, that's, that's long for college. Seven. Yep. They needed three yards. Three yards on that catch, and they would have had it. 35-7, three timeouts. Do I risk it? Yeah, let's throw him on play at least. Let's see. Sticking nine. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. And it was a really nice drive too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Wow. And he is drilled to 37-yard line. Wisconsin's going to use their first time out of the half here. Michigan State First and ten, ball did on the not show up. Wisconsin comes to the line holding that commanding lead. Good outside run there. Around oh, five dumb. yards there on the option keep. Wisconsin's going to have to use their second time out of the half. I mainly just wanted to pick up some yards on the ground. So I'm not going to try to press and get a touchdown. Let's just kick a field goal here. There you go. About to 21. Let's see, go to huddle and run it again. I mean, we got that first down, so let's just get it a few more yards, man. Oh, nice no. run up the middle. They got a few yards match. there, but they need to be thinking bigger right now. We're up 35 7. I'm just going to kick a field goal right here. Like, I want to take bait. <laughs> throw a pick six and then suddenly Michigan State scores to start the second half and it's only down 14. So the Badgers using their third and final timeout. The field goal unit's out on the field and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. There you go. Kicks up and it's through the uprights. Oh, that would have been hard to watch leash. if your team's on the short end as we head to halftime. The Badgers <laughs> in front, 38-7. The first time we've had a blowout in this dynasty. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Number Sports six, NCAA football State. 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. I really hope you'll stick around and watch the second half of this game. During the second half, I expect Kirk Herbstreit to give us a comprehensive history of every playbook he's ever had in his entire yeah. football career, dating back to Pee Wee. All right, Reese and David, you guys just sit there in your easy chairs. Kirk and I have work to do here in this third quarter. Hopefully it's going to get better. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 27. <laughs> Wisconsin's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, has just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. They're going to change things up here. Here's a quick throw. 
And it's the senior. Oh. Tackle made at about the 37 yard line. just gave us that face mask to give it to us. Wow. Defense. And here comes Michigan State. So the offense State. will move a little bit closer with that penalty. Wow, one play and they're on our 22-yard line. That sucks. <laughs> All right, Trey. So after the big down. pass play, we've got a first down. Where are we going with this? Off. Well, the offense catches a break here. That ball should Damn. have been intercepted there by the safety, so the quarterback gets the ball back here for this next down. That's a pick six. Crone was going to go the other way. He was going to go. And it's caught. Dang it. Touchdown, Spartans. And Michigan State scores for a Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver exactly are what on I was the thinking was going to happen. Good things tend to happen. I thought they were going to do something quick to start the second half. And he half. adds the extra point. we got to not turn this ball over. If we turn it over, the comeback's on. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. Sit back, Davis. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're not only the better football team on paper, as they've demonstrated today, they're the better, better on team paper. on the field today. And this offense the shit has out been of outstanding. Of Sorry. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. Get that counter. So like we're just about ready to return to action. Yeah. And down he goes. Right at the up 37. the gut. 157 yards rushing for Jonathan Taylor. Yo, computer, shut up. <laughs> Get the half back stretch. That's all there. From their own 37 yard line. First down. Stretch it. Bad. They give yeah. to the tailback, taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Taylor picks up five with the carry. Man, that was just like, get what you can, baby. Let's see. Oh my Murray goodness. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. All right, Mertz. Let's not lead that that far. <laughs> oh, boy. From their own 42 yard line, third down. Not what I meant to throw to. And a quick throw. Oh, that was such a lucky break. That tackle was <laughs> a very big play. Woo. He got the absolute perfect animation out of that break right there. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Better to be lucky than good sometimes. And we'll take it when we're trying to From three not choke away a big it's win over down. Michigan State. We want to stay right. Ooh, Groshek got tagged on if that If these one. defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. Why are we dropping frames again? Come on, don't, be, don't play that. If it's looking bad, let me know and we'll pause it and I'll reboot my internet and start right back up from where we are. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. I don't know. I think I need to get my modem switched out. It's been getting wiggity the last few days. 
and he's taking it down the 36 yard line. All right, third and two. Let's see. Let's so it's third down, action. and they've got about two yards to go. Man left, man left. Yeah, yeah, we are not winning yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. He's tackled. Taylor. About the 25-yard line. Man, they just cannot stop the run against us this year. Changing the playbook is the way to go. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. This ace, is the single back formation is what we needed. And he's tackled after like, positive yardage. Just get what you can. Do a solid run. Don't, don't fumble. Don't get blasted. We are fine with a five-yard run. This is the ninth play of this drive. All right. Around the 16-yard line. Let's see. Third and one again. So that's good. We just want to bleed the clock. And not let Michigan State back in it because they snooze on it. Tenth play of the drive. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Not showing up till the second half. Let's go! Whoa, no. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. That was unlucky. He had the first and got turned around. Let's kick the field goal. So it's fourth down. So the field goal the unit is on the field. They'll try for three it. points. He gets there it up, go. and it is good. Forty-one, fourteen. Wisconsin is lining up to kick this one off. his own goal line he's to the 20 the ball is Ooh. loose and they fall on the loose ball he makes it to the 25 yard line day. for Almost Wisconsin said, like, they've been getting into the backfield quite after. a bit this is turning into a day that the offensive line wants to forget they also have that one takeaway this offense hasn't had any trouble moving the ball on the ground well they are running it pretty well so that wouldn't be a bad thing you take the yards however you can get them the defense wants to dig in here to avoid any letdowns From their own 25 yard line. First down. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. All right, he's down. Let's go. <laughs> after reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. So did they lose a yard or gain a yard? <laughs> oh. throw picked off. Wow. And they make the stop around the 25. I don't know what's going on with Michigan State right now. Well, it's just one of those days that's all, I guess. already Davis. getting blown out. Now another interception. Wow. Can you imagine that walk over to the sideline for these guys? I don't understand how this From is the same team that line. gets 50 points First on the down. Wisconsin is winning big. Room around the corner. Ah. 
I was like, pickup. this is going to look so sweet, but then it didn't work. So it worked earlier, but it worked earlier, so it's not going to work there. Let's see. Yeah, let's get Grosh check in there. yards you know when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game Krushek didn't get that call in the face match we've got a first and ten ball on the 14 yard line takes the toss left and there's another one holy cow Outstanding run and great Michigan execution State, what by are you the doing? entire wow. offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. It's going to be, if, if they, if somehow Lincoln Riley gets let go by this game and they offer it to me, I'm sorry, but gosh. And he converts the extra point. A short three play, 26 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. I just can't believe it. We haven't even had a win this big. I think our biggest win was like 17 points. And now suddenly we're just whooping up on Michigan State. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Oh. Find his man, and they take him down immediately. Black stuck you for five. that. Face mask. Defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. Going, man. Gonna bring some pressure. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 44. They'll spread the field with five wide. That's bad. Dang it. Brought down at the 44-yard line. There's very good chemistry between that these two. Me. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. There we go. And it was the defensive line that was able to make the play. Yeah. And the defense came up with some pressure there with a the blitz. The quarterback wasn't able to get rid of it. And the result, of course, is a sack. Loudermilk hadn't been able to get to him in the second half, but five and first half. Man. Let's see. All right. So the sack makes this a second and long. Yeah. Looks left. Picked off. Bye. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. To the 20. Heck yeah. Use your pick six, baby. Great job here by the defender breaking Ducky. on the ball and taking it to the house. <laughs> Man, those That's our Juco. can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. Man, that first recruiting class is having a big impact on this team. Woo. Ducky and Cronin. And he hits the PAT. Man. We got 55 points in the third quarter. What is Everyone going on? Lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. 
Uh, makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. They just gave in that for fun. See how the defense responds now coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. He's hit and taken <laughs> down. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage now and like delivering Kalinas a very catchable ball though. and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Slot receiver versus linebacker. Who wins? So it's second down and about two yards to go. Caught with room to work. Ah, oh, that was on me. He's taken down at the 40. Yes, there's many miss. That makes it first and ten. All right, let's see where we go. First and ten, ball on the 40-yard line. He's out of bounds. Man, they just let that out. Three yards there on the play. Wasn't a huge gain here, but at least you know as a quarterback that when you throw to this senior, you're putting the ball into some sure hands. Hell, the shoot. Lombardi just is not having a good game for him. Good game for him. I talk good. From the 21 yard line. Got that it's learning. first down. And they've got the dime package in there to try and oh deal gosh. with this five receiver look. Looking for his man, incomplete. Yeah, he ain't completing that, Lombardi. That makes it second and ten. Let's see. Let's get to that four three. That's his own blitz in there. Back Sam three C. It's second and ten. Ball on the twenty one yard line. No, actually, no. Boom. He's knocked out of bounds at the 18. Gain of three yards. That makes it third and seven. We're just on it defensively today. Five. And this play is number eight on the drive. Yeah. Actually, no, it's this guy. Green 90. Green 90. Looks for his tight end over the middle. I missed and took out my own. Took out my own guy. <laughs> but as he showed right there on third down, a he also has soft there. hands for a big guy. Oh, he's got soft hands for a tight end. It's first down, and they'll be Pretty looking sure for six points about here. Hernandez. Put him down. Oh. That offensive tackle just killed us. MSU. Dang. A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. Like, why didn't this Michigan State show up? That's how they looked last year, just running us over. That's suddenly we're the one running them over. How did I get that far to the line? <laughs> And he plays a 62-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receiver getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. He's to the 10. Oh, no. He's got the corner. 
Across the 30. Tackle made. Please, David, so fast. His back's had a good day on the ground, Kirk. Well, Brad, for him, it's just been one big play after another. <laughs> that was a spin really that I thought I could use on that one earlier, his ability to make nah, big plays for we already used it. This guy has such powerful legs, as we've seen all day today. An arm tackle's not going to bring him down. You've got to get in front of him and wrap him up to have any chance of slowing him down. He's helped to put his team in a winning position, so let's see if he can keep that up or if the defense can contain him here. Or if we just don't use him that much because the game is over so both and teams we don't come want him to get out, out of the field. Wisconsin with a big I mean, advantage. Wisconsin, he ain't gonna win the Heisman with this. We already lost two games. Oh my goodness! They'll bring him down. Two string. Groshek was about to be gone. What is going on with Michigan State's defense? Did they just lose that much talent? Like, their defense is looking like ours does most games. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37. Now we got Taylor. I think after this drive, though, we'll put Julius in. Ooh. Nice run to the outside. Taylor gained seven yards on that play. It's always when it's one on one that I don't look very good. It's like if there's multiple people around, I'm just like, Ooh. it gets squirrely, but then it's one on one. I overthink it sometimes. Not much of a contest here as we head into the final stanza. So the Badgers are up big. Yeah. about set to start the fourth quarter mercifully <laughs> yeah for the first time in this dynasty Ooh. and down he goes at the 27 yard line a couple maybe three oh, yards that on scared that me a little bit when he kind of like he had a little hitch in that animation on the ground i was like <gasps> So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Wow, Little twice you got denied. What a hit by that Michigan State linebacker. All right, we'll kick a field goal. Mainly because our kicker hadn't had a whole lot of chances to kick field goals, to be honest. And I missed it's it. Up. Oh, it's no good. So they come up empty handed. I thought I kicked it over have enough. A short memory. Just go out and make the next one. Dang. How did I? I really thought I clicked it over enough. That's hilarious because I, I spent a while on that last kick, and that one I'm just like. Pfft. I don't expect any once in a lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Hmm. Oh. Quickly, and he's got his man knocked out of bounds at the 38. Pearson was like 10 yards off his man. It didn't matter because they ran a wide receiver screen, but still, I was like, man, over there. It's first and 10. We come Ball on the 38 yard line. He scrambles. Wow. He gets sacked on the play. As an Damn offensive boy. line, you've got to do a better job as a group at communicating. Oh. Defense brought pressure. That time, they did not do a good job of picking up the linebackers. <laughs> the linebacker was able to come up with a sack. That was not good for them. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Sorry. Oh, I got Cage. The elephant stuck in the head. Wow, I ran that back. Oh, going right. Intercepted. Okay. Stinky blasted by a lineman, buddy. At the 45. Oh, man. Deuce is two picks. Brad, what the world is this? To fight, continuing to try to compete. But another interception, <laughs> another miscue for this team. They're already getting blown out. They've got no chance to get back in the game. Wow, LSU and Ole Miss in overtime. All right, we're going to take...
Jonathan Taylor out of the game. Let's put Davis in. Unless we have Davis run some of these starting plays. We'll keep Groshek in his spell role. Alright. Sweep. From the 45 yard line. First down. Wisconsin up by a bunch. Down. I think Loop this 14. is not going to work with her. Run, run, run. Looking for the corner. There, man. Tackle around the 37. I just didn't want to go out of bounds. I knew if I did that spin, I'd stay in the field of play. Well, I don't think the clock would have stopped. It don't matter. I've kind of I've shut off up here because it <laughs> killed him. Wow, Stanford lost to Washington State. Oh, he's tackled at about right. the 39 yard line. Here, guys, we played defense with six minutes left. We're only down 34. We can do this. We got them right where we want them. Let's see. Yeah, double under. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 39. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. You know, as a defender, anytime you're not going to have a chance to get to the quarterback, one of the things all defensive coaches try to teach their defense is to get your hands up and try to knock the football away. And that time, that's exactly what they did to set up this fourth down. Hayes, back deep to return. Wow, everybody's chanting they want six. He gets They're it just away, out it's for blood in a 55-21 game. And for Lombardi, it has not been an easy ride in this one. Well, I think a lot of quarterbacks that don't have a huge hand don't get a good grip on the football. And right now, <laughs> watching him play in these conditions, I think it's really starting to catch up with him that he gets back there. I don't think he's comfortable throwing the football. Well, when you play on the road, it's tough to be perfect, but he's not making things any easier for his teammates. Man, they just buried him with his small hands. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Ooh, we got a safety. Get the safety. Cow. You know, I give a lot of credit to the defense on this play, but this was a horrible mistake by the quarterback. Man, he is just not, he just can't see any pressure coming. Man, they needed to put somebody else in. Party is done. He's tackled at the 44. Michigan State's defense has not played up to their height, that's for sure. One thing you can always count on from this team is a cow. great defensive performance. I think you and I and everybody today got to be shocked to see these guys and how bad they played on that side of the football. This is just nuts. And we have our first truly dominant game against an undefeated you number six. Want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Wisconsin looking to put this game away if they score here. I was like, come on, you had no time to snap that. Forward to about the 39. The back gets three on the carry. 
all that. Let's see, where we go. Man, this game is, we've been so dominant in this game, we're gonna have to play something else after this, because I'm gonna From the 39 reboot yard the line. internet and... It's second down. We're gonna stream something new. Get out of bounds. He gets oh, hit out of bounds. Still hit us. At the 31. Man, it's going to be hard for me to want to bench Mertz for Sylvester next year. I should have started Mertz. But nah, Mertz is so freaking good. Oh, there we go. to about the 28 yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Wisconsin, up big. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. I've actually played a game where it was like a blowout, not actually having to try. Oh! Back to the tailback, and he's hit immediately for a loss. 34. Antoine Simmons just said hello. Did I win last night? No, nah, last night we got a little offense just fell apart in the second half. So, like. It was 24-24 at the half. Unit here for this long field goal it was 52-24 at the end. Kicks up. Wow! Dang! All right, we need that kick. Reese, what have you got? Time to check out the proceedings on Couldn't the farm. Couldn't hit a 37 yard. Who in the world saw this one coming? Not me. A major upset Whoa. is done. Yeah, the office fell apart, so I built a new playbook coming into this game. And They'll come back early returns are good, but taste, I feel like it was more Michigan State. Defenses get a big boost when they can score a safety, so expect to see these guys flying to the ball in this possession, too. Oh, Got my goodness. Fumble, loose ball. Scoops up the loose ball. That time the option play is the cause of the fumble. The offense put the ball on the ground, but give the defense credit for jumping all over it. That's Stucky. That was Stucky. Oh my goodness. Our Juco. He's got a pick six and now a forced fumble. Man. He really wanted to stick to stretch here. You want to get sticks. experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injury. Just under two to go in the game. Heading for the corner. He's at the 20. <laughs> right down. Right around the 16 there yard line. Gross checks over 100 yards. Man. First down, 10 yards know, to go. Stages. Ball on the 16. Lombardi just fell apart. That's the whole difference, because they had no quarterback. They had a senior quarterback last year who torched us for 400 yards. But Lombardi just, ah, he did not have it. That's good. It's just me with spirit. We can run out the clock now. Quarterback take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. I think we got them back for the 52-35 beating they put on us in East Lansing. Can't believe that we just showed up for the first time. 
Wisconsin staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and That's I just have first a chance to get the top ten team. And watch this young man play. Uh, this <laughs> Five sacks and five sacks and that this fumble recovery. Be able to build on. Well, that yeah. things up no for five sacks for your first half. And Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying <laughs> thanks, <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Dang. <laughs> that was the start of that game. He just spun through through tackle. This is like, alright, this one's gonna be different. Yeah, that was the one I gave up because I misjudged. I stayed in the straight too long, like backpedaling. I'm still getting used to trying to play that deep zone. And that, that's my pick six. Stucky took that the whole way. Man, I did not expect this game to be like this. I guess they did just lose a lot of players, so they must have lost a lot of starters. Mertz 12 to 16, 230 yards, three touchdowns a pick. The pick was on me basically because that's that good. I don't even remember what it was because you know quarterbacks can't I'm short of memory. Jonathan Taylor 24 carries, 198 yards, one touchdown. Groshek had 105 on 14 carries with two touchdowns. We just they couldn't stop us on the ground, and then we just threw when we had to. Kirkshank had that 55 yard catch and run. Man. Loud and milk five sacks. Just ridiculous. Sanborn had a sack. Caesar Williams had the sack that was a safety. Williams had a sack. Goose two picks. Ducky. Pick six. Just Lombardi just didn't have it. 20 27, 292 yards, two touchdowns, four picks. Eight sacks. They could only give the ball to Hayward five times because they fell behind so quick. Man. This dude left him down. Jordan Reed just got beat by Loudermilk all for the whole first half. Golly, this is the best performance we've had. I kept thinking it was going to flip, like some play was going to happen and suddenly it was going to be a game, but Michigan State just they never showed up. They just got the plays that I that I gave them. <laughs> the plays where I messed up. <laughs> Join the conversation. What? They had minus 21 rushing yards because of all the sacks. Holy cow. After we, we had the worst rushing defense in the, in the country. Let's see. Advance this. Yeah, we're going to save that for tomorrow. I'm going to reboot the internet and we're going to stream something different. Yeah. I don't want to ruin that big victory with getting blasted by Michigan. <laughs> I'm kind of in the mood to play a different game.
studio, studio. Heck yeah, our defensive coordinator got to level up on that. Oh, we had a player of the week. Oh yeah, ladder milk. Picking UCLA. Texas played in the big in the national championship game season one, but lost to Oregon. JK Dobbins on track to try to pull the Archie Griffin. We really helped him out because we upped his average a lot. Ugh. He ran all over us. All right, let's take a look at the recruits, and then I'm gonna save and change our setup. Let's see. All right, so we're doing good on Bennett. And then, all right, everything's going good, going good, going good. Good, we're moving up a little bit. I don't like that. Would be a good get. 6'5. 87 speed. We definitely play him at a uh, receiver. I don't see what other positions he play. Oh, it would probably be between receivers and tight end. That's what it is. Nice. We're locking him up. We got a, oh man, we've got a really good class if we can keep this up. Alright, I'm going to put him close the little ground with Cincinnati. one yet but yeah we'll be back in a little bit gonna reboot everything and put on a new game <laughs> <laughs> 